Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Auto Modeler, and welcome to another Cracking the Box. Today we've got a new kit from Team from Team Lotus, no, from Tamiya. This is a Team Lotus Type 49B 1968 with photo etch parts. This is a 1 12th kit, 1, one, two, one colon 1 2, uh, as you can see. Identical scale, uh, this is big scale series. I'm not marketing things on there, isn't there? Uh, and they've got their Racing for Britain, um, which I believe was their. Uh, thing for the the team I believe Team Lotus so I'm not an expert on this time period I'm not an expert on race cars I'm not an expert on any of this stuff but I'm gonna unbox this kit and show you what's inside of it um, this is a recent release I think it's probably out now I'm, I'm guessing in, in uh, on shelves or in uh, virtual online shelves so take a look for it uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and know and, and take a look at the the box right now um, this is uh, driver figure is included with this uh, steering wheel Steering wheel moves the front wheel, so it's got a fully functional um, uh, suspension uh, steering system. Uh, they've got detailed uh, looks at the front suspension, the rear suspension, and the engine. Um, and on this side, uh, they're just showing some of the photo etch pieces that are included. Uh, metal air funnels and uh, photo etch parts. So let's go ahead and crack her open, though, and, and see what's on the inside. All right, so right off the bat, you can see a very nice presentation of parts here. We've got... Uh, some of those um, uh, metal parts as well as the photo etch over here. We've got the um, the wheels uh, in chrome with some of the exhaust in chrome as well. Um, the way these uh, unboxings work, if you're not familiar with the channel before, I'm going to go ahead and unbox the parts and then we're going to uh, show you some detailed photos, close-up photos, and then I'll come back and conclude. But I'm not really, um, this isn't a re review per se, I'm not gonna, you know, I might point out things that I see on each of the, uh, uh, on some of the parts, but I'm not gonna be saying, you know, uh, this is a little wrong here, because this should be about like two millimeters over, da, da, da. I'm not, and again, I'm not passing judgment on people to do that either, I'm just saying I'm, that's not the kind of video this is, so if you're looking for like a, 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 a critique on the kit or some kind of uh, accurate historical or technical information on it. Uh, yeah, I'm not the guy for that. All right, so this, this second sprue sheet obviously has some of the, um, the body itself of the Lotus. Um, 1968 was a very um, successful season for Team Lotus. Um, they did lose one of their main drivers, Jim Clark, but went on to win... Um, yeah, with um, many, many w various wins throughout the season. Jackie Clark, and I'm forgetting the other driver, but uh, they did quite well. I'm not sure which uh, car this is depicting or which potential event, but um, some of you who are more knowledgeable may be able to point that out. Uh, very high gloss on this. I mean, it's going to take paint really well, probably. It's that, like, really high-density-looking uh, plastic. Um, there's some pieces in here that are already tinted. Uh, well, already they... Are already they are tinted nicely for you. Uh, some of the the car's um, glass uh, looks like nice beveling even on the top here, so that'll all just go in probably really simply and easily. Uh, it's kind of like golder on the top than it is on the the actual clear parts. It's got kind of a gold tinge to it. Like it might be easier to pull it out, and you guys can at least get some semblance of what I'm talking about uh, without me putting my little fingerprints all over it. In fact, <sighs> make sure I get that. I don't want the oils to mess it up. Um, so you can see, though, that, uh, yeah, I'm seeing a little bit. This might not be seen. I'm not sure what is, what's hidden and what's visible on this. But, uh, yeah, it does have an interesting look to it. And uh, this gray part also is uh, the rear wings, obviously, the, the uh, stabilizers, downforce spoilers. And I think these are some of the fuel compartments, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, I'll be doing a lot of guessing in this. All right, here's the wheels, but let me go ahead and finish with the plastic parts first. We'll go back to them. Here's the front nose um, section. Looks like a slide molded piece. So very nice, again, a curved um, portion here to, to really give you that kind of aircraft sheet metal look um, that looks very nice and then again uh, here's the figure in 1 12th scale very very large he's got rather a wide mouth 
Doesn't look like like Jackie Stewart, but could be. I'm not sure. Or it might not be a, you know really any kind of um, um, specific person, I suppose. Uh, yeah, but look, looks good. Looks uh, well molded, well sculpted. And then this piece has, I think that's like an inner uh, section for the front nose. Some of the suspension parts, um, I'm gonna guess this is maybe an engine, or maybe that's the, the, the seat area, that's probably the seat area for the, for the driver. And they have a long drive shaft here. And then we do have some pieces under here hiding as well. More chrome. Uh, so the way um, our samples generally work, uh, for those, again, who might be coming here for the first time because it's a car kit, uh, we do get samples like this from Tamiya. Um, in fact, we have a 124th scale AA uh, um, World War II time period car as well to do. But um, the way these work is we get these samples in. We do unboxings. We usually try to get find some modelers out there to do a... Uh, feature build or feature review uh, or a built review or something like that where they're actually building the kit I'm uh, not really looking for inboxes with these because this kind of is to kind of take the place of an inbox to be honest um, and uh, So we are always looking for especially with with auto modelers since we don't have a huge community there We're always looking for new folks So if you're watching this on YouTube and you have some background or, or think you can do a really good job with a kit like this um, or just you know you want to you want to send me an email and, and ask about it you can do that uh, we're always looking for new talent in terms of modelers and stuff so yeah give, give me a, a ring and we'll see what we can do um, again this looks like a lot of a lot of uh, suspension bits a lot of uh, 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 shocks and and uh, some of the double wishbone suspension they mention um, I guess practically everything on the car back then was like probably done with uh, chrome steel so at least it looks that way and then we have a black sheet of parts this is hard black plastic of the engine some of the um, uh, brake cooling rib areas there for the wow wouldn't that be really like drum brakes though they said to have disc brakes maybe it's like disc coolers to go on that the radi uh, some kind of radiator cooler uh, exposed area there the steering wheel I hear some things I was talking about just like that's why I don't bother trying to drink it camera focus no I won't I refuse um, and then we have the engine itself um, pretty nicely detailed with some internal uh, internal little gear thingies stuff that goes back and forth and pistons and things well they don't actually give you the pistons now would be cool if you actually built an old a whole engine from like parts and stuff that would be neat. although I know I know there are kits like actual working engine kits that do that so I guess if you want to do that you'd buy one of those kits all right here's the the tires and uh, let me try to figure out how to open this is it I think I actually have to like crack this open to get into it. All right, I just want to pull one of these out and maybe this little rubber hoses. We got rubber hoses. We've got uh, small rubber lines, clear lines, black lines, some springs, a metal bar there, and uh, so forth. Actually, there's some other parts in there that I didn't get out. More springs another rubber thing and then the tires which are two rear two front or two rear two front the rear obviously wider than these but let's go ahead and give you at least some try to give you some detail here on these As you can see it was almost going to come in focus there we go is that firestone yeah firestone and it says the size the tread pattern looks pretty good there is a, a seam down the middle that does have uh, some necessary cleanup there uh, I'll try to get that to focus again. And it doesn't want to cooperate with me. There we go. More light required. So you can kind of see there. 
There, oh, there we go. Yeah, perfect. Just stay just like that camera. I love you. You're a great camera. And, uh, I don't love it actually. <laughs> and then we have this one, which is really wide. You can see there's the front and the rear, so quite a bit of difference there. And again, the, the rear, rear tire also has some some rubber uh, seam material that's going to have to be cleaned off there. Of course, you know, in reality, especially if you want to depict this thing as actually running around the track, you, I don't know whether you guys sand these or, or how you get it to like wear, but yeah, that'll probably take care of that, I would imagine. So, And uh, this uh, also has a mask uh, set up for it uh, to do some of the painting on the clear parts as well as some, um, I wanna say those are safety belt kind of things? Some kind of seat harness things, I would imagine. Seat harness things, yes, that's very, very descriptive, Jim. Seat harness things, why didn't we think of that? All right, so this is the decal sheet. Um, again, with the different designations, it looks like, uh, I'm gonna guess there's an 11 and a 10. Unless that's just uh, extra dashes there, or those aren't even. Hmm, I don't know. Let me look at the let me look at the instructions. Um, Team Lotus. I was looking for drivers' names, but I don't see any drivers' names. Maybe they didn't put the drivers' names on the vehicles. All right, and then that leaves the instructions. But we'll go to look at the photo etch uh, parts first. Let's see if I can get them out of here without destroying the destroying the whole thing. Uh, yeah, that's that's all. It's all they're all taped in. I'll take some photos of those, but yeah, I'll just leave them in here for right now because I don't want to really mess them up. But uh, you can see parts of the cooling system and maybe some some of the safety belt uh, harnesses or the, the locks and things. Uh, and then those are those metal uh, air shafty tube things that stick on top of the engine that, that help the, the, the exhaust and flow airflow. <laughs> I do actually know about engines. I just don't want to really get all that specific. You, you guys forgot whenever whenever anybody critiques me on these. My intention when I make these, and the reason that I don't um, stop to look at something, like uh, do a lot of video editing of this, it increases the time to do a video. When, you, when you've when you edited it, uh, a recent video that I did, for example, on the Tamiya, um, uh, the Tamiya Mozzie, the Mosquito. Uh, that video took about six hours or more to create. I can't, if, the, if every one of these took me six hours, I would be like a year making all the kits I have like that I need to do stuff on. I mean, just literally that's, it's too long. So, all right, let me go back to the beginning because I was, I was, I was yabbering. I'm trying to say yabber. All right, so beginning uh, new tools and obviously stuff like that. Uh, typical Tamiya manual, obviously it is well laid out and detailed. Uh, they go into uh, the kind of hull, the main hull construction, obviously, and then the the driver compartment, the suspension. Um, that I'm gonna guess that blue stuff was the safety belt uh, material because it has the little X's on it, like I thought it did. See, why look stuff up when I can just guess and be right? <laughs> uh, the engine with uh, all the uh, various uh, connection tubes and wires and and. Uh, uh, Thingies that connect to spark plugs and stuff like that. Ignition wires. And uh, yeah, the engine part looks very detailed. I'm sure you can probably super detail it even to a greater degree, but. And they actually show you spray painting, spray painting the, some of the stuff on. Um, so yeah, it is a, a number 10 there, Team Lotus. Um, and then I guess that can be an option number one. So I don't see anything about, um, they don't include, oh, they do have some historical information on here. I'm not going to read, but I could. Um, anyways, well, let's take a look at the photos and come back and conclude.
Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the photos on the Team Lotus Type 49B 1968. Um, we'll be happy to, uh, again, take requests for projects and so forth on this. If you're interested, give me a holler. Uh, we'll try to hook it up with uh, somebody soon. And um, again, thanks to Tamiya USA for sending us this sample. Apologies for it being a little slower to get out something than normal. And we will see you next time on Cracking the Box.